for cheating, parents will call in and we were wondering what was your opinion on that whole situation. In my opinion, these parents are not preparing their children for the real and they're not really learning what we're trying to teach them. Unfortunately, do something wrong um, and your boss finds out about it, you're going to get fired. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know of anybody's parent who's going to go in and say, I'm sorry, but you know, Johnny just had to copy that report he was due because mm -hmm. he was too tired and make excuses. Um, that doesn't fly in the real world and they're not holding their own children accountable. And with that being said, they're not getting the kids to be the best that they can be. So they're doing them a tremendous disservice. Mm -hmm. Um, people learn by making mistakes and I think all of us expect teenagers to make mistakes it's just the nature of being a teenager is to make a mistake yeah. and that's how you learn and develop into the person you are when these parents are intervening um, they are not allowing their kids to develop into the, their full potential they're just uh, making it easier for them yeah. uh, at the moment but it will be harder in life back and forth with my attitude of cheating only hurts you yeah when given the opportunity to do something versus not doing something you take the easy way for whatever reason you ran out of time you forgot to do it you don't understand what's going on um, you're not learning you're not getting the value of something and so um, you know I've tried to really stress that and saying you're not hurting me if you don't read the book if you don't read the book that's your choice if you score well and you do something um, then that's on you. You haven't fooled me, you've cheated yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so I've really tried to kind of echo that sentiment, whether it means anything, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's kind of been my approach of, of uh, take the high road. So a bunch of teachers have said that instead of dealing with the parents, they're just gonna give in and not like press the students for what they're doing. Do you think that's a good idea no. on their part? No, in my opinion, I know there are teachers that are kind of fed up with this whole thing. Yeah. Um, we just have to find a, a different way to yeah. uh, assess and a different way to um, not give the same work each year. Um, I know yeah. that's why English department, we have talked several times about switching up summer reading and things like that just because, mm -hmm. or the assignments that we're using with that because kids pass them from year to year. that administration has been good at like keeping the parents at bay and not giving into their demands when no. they ask no I've sat in on too many meetings as department chair it wasn't reflected to me personally but um, I had to back up my teachers and um, if it was me and I was the person in charge the administrator in charge receiving the said um, I would tell the parents if they didn't like our rules and I knew the teacher was legit like the, everybody, I mean, I had to sit in and take them to another school. We have a waiting list. Some of the attacks on the teachers have been pretty brutal. I feel like at first they always say they're going to back us up, but then they end up making us defend ourselves a lot. And after they hear from a parent, they're like, could you prayerfully consider this again? And then it makes you feel bad. Like, do they not trust me? Do they? 
I mean, if somebody cheats, isn't it just a zero? You know what I mean? So it kind of makes yeah. you second guess yourself. And when they say, will you prayerfully consider, it makes you wonder, do they think I don't have heart? You know, and then that makes you feel bad. Um, in, in my cases, a lot of them have been cut and dry. Um, so turn it in report. I, yeah. can, I can turn that in, um, which has been really nice. Other teachers I've heard... The, the worst case that I've heard from another teacher is that she caught students on other websites during a test. The parents called in and said she should be using Lockdown Browser and that's her own fault. And three kids actually got their write-up thrown away and so they told the teacher that she needs to use Lockdown Browser. And that's just telling the students, um, it's okay to cheat if the teacher didn't do what she's supposed to do. You know, because there's no requirement that we have to use Lockdown Browser. Yeah, it's a good thing to do, but it's, they got, a, we supported them in being able to cheat because they got a full grade. Uh, one of them, it would have been their third incident for NHS. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. and then that got thrown away that we couldn't address it with them. And I thought that was interesting because it could be proven through George being able to print out their report yeah. that they left the test. So. Um, that kind of makes me sad, but that's only one teacher I've heard of, and then I know one teacher um, gave a zero and was forced to give 50%, and I don't think that's right either. I think they should be consistent. So you think administration should just be more consistent about yeah. it and not? Yeah, and, it, and it's, we're supposedly a college prep school. Colleges have no tolerance. Um, I think it's tough on the teacher. I wish that we were allowed to just write it up, give the zero, and there shouldn't be any question about it. It's, you know, it's documented, but I feel like we're not trusted that much, and we're always having to defend our decisions, and then sometimes it makes it even harder to keep holding kids accountable because we might not feel like we're backed up all the time, and it sometimes feel like, is it worth the hassle even? Which. I haven't had too many problems, and I've gotten backed up, but I've had to over and over again defend why, you know, print out the yeah. reports, go through it, instead of I just wish people like trusted the teachers. We're, we would never waste our time trying to hurt a student, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I wish parents and people understood that. When we allow one parent in to hear their side of the story. Now, I'm not saying every teacher is perfect, but these teachers that I was trying to back up didn't um, get the benefit of that doubt, I didn't think. And, um, you know, I know my people pretty well in my department. Um, they only want the best for the kids, and yeah, they're hard, but the hard's what makes it good. If it was easy, everybody would do it. It's hard. Um, if I had to choose to do it all over again, I probably wouldn't. You guys are the reason I'm here. I mean, honestly. But am I right? Yeah. I'd, I'd pick an easier it's about job. The kids. It's about the kids, yeah. Yeah. yeah.